This is Youth Cyber Defender, and today we're going to talk about how to change the local password policy. So if you wish to change the local password policy, you should first search up the local security policy. Once you click on it, this screen will appear. So once you go to this screen, you should go to account policy. So there are two folders under it, the password policy and the account lockout policy. So let's go to the password policy first. So for enforced password history, this is basically just how many passwords the computer remember that, how many passwords the computer remember. So basically if this number was two, it would remember two passwords and you couldn't use any of those passwords if you wanted to change your password. So for this, we should change the setting to 10. For maximum password age, this is about how long you can keep your password before you have to change it. So for this, you should put it to 90 days. For minimum password age, this is about how long you have to keep your password before you can change it. So you don't just keep randomly changing your password all the time. For this, you should change it to seven days. For minimum password length, this is about how long the password must be, so the password is strong enough. For this setting, the password should, the number should be 10 characters. For password must meet complexity requirements, this is about the complexity of the password. So like lowercase letters, uppercase letters, numbers, and special characters. This should be enabled. For store passwords using reversible encryption, this is about storing passwords using encryption that can be reversible. Since the encryption can be inversible, this doesn't really help, so you can keep it disabled. For the account lockout policy, policy the duration is how long you're locked out. The threshold is how many attempts you need before you get locked out. And the reset account and the reset account lockout after is kind of like the account lockout duration. So you should set, set the account lockout threshold to five. After you click OK, this screen will appear. And for this, you should just click OK. So after this, you're done setting the password policies. 